Hello, welcome to the finest beam streamline at Maxor Laboratory. My name is Antti Kivimäki. I work as a beam line manager here at the finest beams. Uh, so today is Monday morning. Previous users have finished their experiment during the night using this electron spectrometer that is at the beam line at the focus point. The next users will use a different setup. Uh, so we will have to exchange the setups during Monday and Tuesday. And we will start by removing or moving this uh, spectrometer towards the beam line by taking away beam pipe here and one of the turbo pumps. They will not be used in the next experiments. Uh, and the new setup will be um, placed at the same position at the focal point of the beam line. It will be a um, magnet bottle spectrometer. It has a two meter long flight tube that will be in this direction. So we will start to mount this, uh, this uh, chamber today. I don't know how much we will manage to do today, but we will continue tomorrow. The users uh, will come both from uh, the University of Oulu, Finland, and the University of Kassel, Germany.
My name is Andreas, I'm fr uh, from University of Kassel and I'm coming here to do an experiment together with the University of Oulu and we are using this machine which is a magnet magnetic bottle electron spectrometer. It works like that, that we have a permanent magnet here with a strong um, permanent magnetic field, which is inhomogeneous such a way that all the electrons emitted in the interaction region here are uh, emitted uh, or are guided towards the detector. This is coming from this side, this is a manipulator to move it and it's, in, actually you can see it if you, if there is something coming from the left side. On the opposite side of the detector we have this drift tube um, at the end of which our electron detector is mounted and by measuring the time the electrons travel through this uh, drift tube we determine their kinetic energy. The scientific questions we want to address in this specific experiment is um, to investigate auto-ionization processes in small quantum systems like atoms, molecules and clusters. And in the experiment, in this particular experiment we are looking at xenon clusters and are trying to uh, find the difference between atomic and cluster auto-ionization. By guiding all the electrons with the magnetic field towards the detector, we reach a very large solid angle of detection. That means that we can efficiently detect electrons in coincidence. That means we can detect more than one electron stemming from the same physical interaction. And um, by using this method, we can efficiently discriminate between uh, processes in atoms and uh, clusters and molecules in which single, double or triple or more electrons are emitted. And especially for our purpose of uh, recording the autonization processes, this is very beneficial because we can, for example, measure the photoelectron which is uh, emitted in the photoionization process in coincidence with secondary um, electrons which are emitted due to local autonization processes, for example, OG decay or non-local autonization processes, for example, interatomic Coulombic decay, ICD, or electron transfer mediated decay. And in this experiment, we plan to produce a full picture of the decay of uh, inner shell vacancies of the 4D hole in xenon clusters.